Good evening. Good evening, Marcos. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. I am very, very tired. Is uh, working a lot. Working. Uh, you lot. work in textile field. Yes. <laughs> I see in your shirt. Uh, yes, in my in my shoes. Uh, Includes in my band is uh, um, we not, we need the uh, gyms uh, for the work is a uh, shoes is a uh, uh, complete uniform is good. Oh, good. that's right. You uh, you have a complete uniform. Yes, complete uniform. Shoes, pants, shirt. It's, it's so much. Uh, it's, yes, in, inclusive is mask. Mask is for use. Max. Yes, yes. Uh, tonight. And you, Marcos? Uh, only working to delivery, pedido ya. Yeah. Uh, I get, I get, I get, get out to the work to four, four up o'clock, four up, four up, oh. p.m. Okay. You work for pedidos ya, Marcos? Hola? You work for pedidos ya? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm working pedidos ya. Like driving a motorcycle? Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm driving a motorcycle and the car. I don't have a phone with there. Oh. Is is how does it work in in Pedido Jai? Do you drive in? A motorcycle. A motorcycle is I work in the, oh. the Pedido Jai. And uh, then when I driving car is a uh, personal personal with my family or with uh, when travel. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, yes. and because I have a uh, I have a driving license for motorcycle and the car. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a, it's a it's a it's a advantage for me. Ah, okay. It's good. It's good. And my Wait, so, is, uh... I'm sorry. We're gonna start the class, guys. I know the conversation okay. was very good, but we're gonna have time for that conversation. Okay. So everybody, welcome to the last class. Actually, this is the last class we're gonna have. Um, of this module, uh, pre-advanced ones, one, and then we're gonna go to pre-advanced two. Antes de empezar con los temas de la clase de hoy, con el repaso y todas estas cosas, quiero decirles que ya pueden inscribirse al siguiente módulo. No sé si ya les mandaron la información, pero ya pueden inscribirse al siguiente módulo. Eh, mientras más pronto lo hagan, más rápido vamos a iniciar el siguiente módulo. Porque si se tardan mucho en inscribirse, pues si el grupo no se arma, entonces ahí están esperando. Es eh, mejor que se inscriban lo más rápido posible. Deseen ahí que tienen desde mañana a más tardar el 14 de febrero. Tiene el amor y amistad. <ríe> entonces. Yo ya, yo ya estoy listo. Lick. ¿Ya está inscrito? Yes. Ah, ok. Perfect, perfect. Los demás, I don't know if you are... Me teacher. In my okay. case, yes, teacher. Okay. I'm sending information. Por eso, por eso finalicé la plataforma antes. Ah, okay, okay. So Adriana, Gabriel, and Marcos, you are in the next module. The other ones, guys, if you can do it, please do it um, quick. Because if you wait, then you make your other classmates wait. Because we have, we need to have a complete group to start the new module, to start the classes. Then, so we have a date, tenemos una fecha tentativa para iniciar el siguiente módulo, que es del 21 
a, del 21, ajá, el 21 de, de febrero. Se maneja que el 11, ustedes estén mandando las inscripciones desde el 11 al 14 para que se haga todo el papeleo esa semana y ya podamos arrancar con las clases el 21. Sería lo más adecuado porque si usted espera mucho tiempo para inscribir, o sea, mucho tiempo sin recibir clases de inglés, uno sabe, se pierde el ritmo. Así que lo mejor sería que envíen su documentación el 11 mañana a más tardar para que así podamos iniciar ya con todo el 21 y no haya ningún problema. Así no tenemos que esperar tanto porque de verdad yo les digo, mientras más tiempo se deja pasar, como que más nos acomodamos. No sé si les ha pasado más, nos acomodamos. Yo he tenido alumnos que llegan ya casi al intermedio. De repente nadie se inscribió, dejan de recibir clase y todo. Y vuelven de nuevo a básico. Porque el inglés se olvida. Si no se está practicando, guys, se olvida. Por eso es que las personas que trabajamos de esto del inglés nos tenemos que hacer el examen TOEFL porque, y cada dos años, de hecho, algunas instituciones lo piden como cada dos años de requisito, porque uno baja su nivel en dos años, mucho se puede perder. Así que no dejemos pasar mucho tiempo y inscribámonos eh, lo más pronto posible, por favor. Marcos, dígame. Solo una consulta, Lick. Eh, ¿Siempre se mantendrían en el mismo horario o se podría cambiar el horario? Porque eh, en mi caso yo he sacrificado de no estar trabajando en el transcurso de la noche por lo mismo que recibir las clases de inglés. Mm, fíjese que no sé, porque yo entiendo que hay de 8 a 9 y de 9 a 10. Sí, porque yo había tomado el de 9 a 10 y me dijeron que no iba a haber de 9 a 10, sino que de 8 a 9. Es que lo que pasa es que ustedes, en el caso de ustedes, hay menos horarios. En los básicos y en los intermedios hay un poco más de horarios porque ustedes ya son un grupo preavanzado. Entonces son menos personas las que están en este tipo de grupos. Por lo tanto, en el grupo que se logra meter a todas esas personas de ese nivel, ahí se deja en ese horario. Pero si usted quiere, porque yo no, no tengo información administrativa, entonces, si usted quiere, escríbale a una persona de las que está en el grupo de inglés corporativo y asesórese con ellos preguntándole si le pueden incluir en otro horario. Porque sé que hay grupos de 1 a 2 pm, pero según tengo entendido, estos son grupos cerrados y principiantes. Así que no sé. Si quiere, asesórese con alguien de inglés corporativo mejor. Gracias. Ok. Con que nos dé clases a usted el siguiente módulo suficiente también. Sí. Thank you. Thank you. Is a nice teacher. Is the best teacher. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I appreciate it. I appreciate sure. it. Of course. La cosa es que si se inscriben, porque si no, pues a veces hacen como un merge de grupos, o sea, un merge como unen y después les toca con otros maestros. Pero esperemos que sí. Esperemos que sí. Yo también quisiera estar aquí porque yo ya necesito estar speaking English. I need to be speaking English. Y si me ponen, if they send me back to a basic one, I have to speak Spanish sometimes because they don't understand. And I need to speak English. Okay. So I, I'm happy with this group. Okay. Um, besides that, the inscriptions, you have to do it between the 11th and the 14th, and then maybe we're gonna be starting class in the 21st. Now, do you have any questions? I saw in the chat, guys, I'm not always on my phone because I have a lot of work, a lot of jobs, like many jobs. And I was looking that you were talking about some exercises, I didn't pay attention. Did you figure them out? Did you do the exercises or do you need help with the platform? I didn't even know. Ni siquiera sé quiénes lo están mandando. I saw some people sending messages. Saúl, Saúl said here. And then Gavi, Gavi. Yeah. I finished the platform teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. 
Guys, and nobody, so everybody has to have the platform completed by today. So here right now in this moment, if I ask, did everyone complete, complete the platform? Did you complete the platform, guys, or not? Give me a reaction if you complete the platform. Okay, Milton completed it. Marcos, I know you did it. Okay, who else? Adriana, you completed the platform. Okay. Yes, I finished the platform. Okay, perfect, Saul. Gabriela also. I finished the platform. Okay, perfect, Janet. Uh, Miguel, did you finish? Yeah, finish. Yes, I, yes, see, yes. I see in the chat. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So it is important that you have completed the platform by today. And, and, and did you see at the beginning of the class, we were like many people here, like more, more than there are right now. So this is what happens with English. Many people start, but not many people finish. So we need to be consistent, like persistent. That would be the perfect way. We need to be there and we need to complete this and this and this and this. So that's why I'm telling you, please uh, send this, send the inscriptions so we can start as soon as possible. Because if you let like too many days go by, then it's gonna be complicated to come back. Okay, anyways. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 yeah, I know. Ah, I'm sorry. Es que yo tengo esto. Rinitis crónica es horrible, guys. Eso de la rinitis es una cosa tan... Ah, pero anyways, creo que ya soy bien. <laughs> okay, now, um, ¿saben a qué le tengo alergia yo? Al pelo de gato de perro. A estar viva, porque el día que me muera nada me va a dar alergia. Hasta tierra me van a echar y no me va a dar alergia. Así que le tengo, le tengo alergia a la vida, digo yo. <laughs> Así que, okay, so we start with the class right now. This is the last day, guys, you actually have to practice the last tongue twister that we have been practicing these days. Cause, um, let me see here. Yeah, here we are. Cause this is the last day. So now I'm gonna need you to go and practice, but not only practice, today you will have two time time yourselves. Do you know what is time? So you have to time yourselves? Time? Nope. Yeah. Tiempo de uno mismo. Yeah, so you have to time. So tienen que tomar su tiempo. You have to time. No voy a decir you have to take the time. No. You have to time. I, el time se ocupa como un verbo. So you have to time. Um, and also remember, it's not about being like pero, 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 peppers okay teacher i'm done no it's pronunciation and then after the pronunciation the time okay so i'm gonna send you to two groups and you will have to take you have to time you have to time the other classmates okay um we're gonna come back pretty soon to start with the last part here let me see yeah i think this is good okay let's go
pepper pig. Where is the pack of pickled peppers? Time. Ten seconds. Nice job, nice job. Um, uh, you, Saul, Saul, try again. Yes, don't, uh, don't worry, don't worry for the time. Maybe the, maybe the time is over. Yeah, or the, don't, don't worry, don't worry. The group? Don't worry. Okay. No, 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 you're still working on the groups. Very Piper Picket, a peck of pick of Piper Pick. Is very pepper, Piper Pick, a peck of pickle pepper. Where is the peck of pickle pepper? Peter Piper Pick. Okay. Hey, very good. 15 seconds. Okay. And uh, okay. high level. Okay, Adriana. Okay. You, you. One, two, okay. three, Adriana. Okay. Uh, do you have the, the, the time? My... Yes, okay. I have okay. the time. I have, I, have, I have your time, Adriana. Okay, when, thank you. When I, I count one, two, three, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. One, two, three. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? Okay. Wow. Nice. Wow. Wow. Very good. Excellent. Thank you.
Okay, we... now I want, no, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, but now I want to hear everybody in the breaker room saying the tongue twister, okay? Well, which okay, teacher. the turn of Gabriela. No, oh, let's, <laughs> let's start with, like, well, let's start with the order that I have here in the cameras. So the first person I see here in the cameras is Marcos. I stay in the bed, miss. <laughs> okay, you, uh, you are faster than others. Wait. Uh, I stay in the in the in the sofa. No, it's okay. Title. It's okay. No, I just want you to say the tongue twister. Okay. Peter Pepper pick a peco pico pepper a peco pico peppers. Peter Pepper pick if. Peter Pepper pick a peco pico peppers. Where's the peco pico peppers? Peter Pepper pick. Very good. Good job, Marcos. Let's go now with Janet. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, a pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, what's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? Wow. Good job, Janet. You too. Thanks. Excellent. Now Thanks. let's go with Gabriela. Okay. Peter Piper pit a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pit. If Peter Piper pit a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pit? Wow, good job. It's just picked. Okay, picked. But good pit. job. Very good job, Gabriela. Okay. Excellent. Saul, is your turn. Peter Piper pit a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pick. If Peter pick a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Pick. Picked. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, Saul. And you did it slow, but you did it with good pronunciation. Excellent, Saul. Very good. Good job. Okay. Okay, un, an applause for everyone. Ahora sí, demos un aplauso a todos para todos aquí. An applause for sí, everyone. De hecho, de hecho, es licenciada a don Saúl estábamos enseñando todo el, el, el cómo se llama el ton twister porque no lo había practicado y no, no sabía cómo se decía yo creo que no estuvo el día que lo, lo presentamos verdad don yes, Saúl because, sí, no estuvo pero I, did, I didn't know the pronunciation of that screen uh, because uh, I have been very busy uh, and that's the problem uh, was uh, missing two days maybe Ah, okay. But okay. This, is the last day. this is the last day, and I thought, oh, I need to be uh, in the class. Yes, yes, because the last day. Yeah. But you did a good Thank job, you. Saul. You did a good job with the pronunciation. Okay. Thank Perfect. You. Good job, guys. I'm going to go to the other break room to listen to your other classmates, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Seven. 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 Okay. Okay, my. Okay, my. Okay, okay. You ready? Go ahead. Ready. Go ahead. One, two, three. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, a peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick? Hey, my. Hey. Wow. That was really <laughs> fast. Yeah. <laughs> Is the champion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the champion. Okay. My, my turn. My turn. Okay. You, you count, uh, Mike. Okay. One, two, three. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, where is the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick? Nice. Okay, nice. nice. Okay, very good. Wow, very nice. good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go again. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Peter Pepper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Pepper pick. If Peter Pepper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where's a peck of pickled peppers? Peter Pepper pick. Oh, hey. excellent. Hey, hey, Ariana. Okay. Good for you. Very good. Hey, my. Okay. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. 
Recording in progress. Always, always, always when you're with me, it's going to be like recording in progress. Because where I am, there is the recording for, for YouTube. Have you? Uh, I, see the, I, see, I see the every video and the YouTube. You watch every video on YouTube? Sí. Wow, very good. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, guys. Um let me go ahead here. We're gonna go with the midterm. So we're gonna I mean the final exam. And I'm gonna go and reply with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, wait a second. Okay, we're gonna do the last or the final exam together, a review, because it's supposed that you did this already, right? We're gonna do the review and I'm gonna ask you, what is the answer in this case? And you guys have to be like, have to explain to me why that is the answer, not just, es que me la pasaron, teacher, mira que se le pregunté a Marcos y Marcos me dijo, es esa, y pues si yo puse esa, porque como Marcos me dijo, that's not the correct answer. That's not gonna be the case, okay? So let's go here. It says a listening part. Can you read this? And, oh, no, 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 no. We're, first, we're gonna hear the, the audio. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hello? Hello, Karen. This is Manuel from downstairs. Oh, hi, Manuel. What's up? Well, I'm having a party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I already have theater tickets. Uh, would it be okay, then, if I borrowed your CD player for the party? Mine's broken. You'll be careful with it? It's new, you know. Sure. Don't worry. I'll take special care of it. Okay. I'll bring it down tomorrow morning. Great. Thanks, Karen. Bye. Two. 
Okay, so we listen to number one. Um, can you please read here, Gabriela, and tell me the answer for number one? Um, borrow her CD player. No, read it from the beginning and then with the answer. Oh, okay. Manuel called Karen and wants to borrow the her CD player. This one? Okay. Yes. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Is this Mikio? This is Jeff. Sorry, Mikio isn't here right now. Could you call back later tonight, say, after 7? Well, uh, do you mind giving him a message? Not at all. It's Jeff. Jeff Jackson. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up? No problem. I'll tell him to call you tonight. Okay, let's see now. Um, Adriana, could you please read this with the answer? Yes, teacher, of course. Jeff asked the men to leave this message for Mikio. Uh, the answer is, could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Thank you, Adriana. <laughs> Guys, and you know what is pick up? pick him up or pick you up. Do you know the meaning of that? Go ahead. It's when Yay. you pass Pasar por. for some uh, All the uh, answers uh, are okay. correct, yes. Right? <laughs> so for example, when you go to someone's house and you drive there and they get in your car, that's when you pick up something, someone. You pick, you can pick up something. For example, when your kids are at school and you go yes. to school, you go to pick them up. To pick up. Pick then up. the opposite of pick up, it's drop off. Okay. So in the morning, you go to drop off your kids at school. And in the afternoon, you pick them up. Okay. Let's see number three. Three. Hey, Brian, did you hear? This couple was walking to the mailbox on the corner when a thief stopped them. You're kidding. No, it was terrible. They didn't have any money, so the thief was going to make them go to a cash machine. But then a police car drove by. What happened? Did he get arrested? They said the robber got scared when he saw the police, and he ran down the street and around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, he did. Unfortunately, he did. Okay. Miguel. Okay. Uh, while the couple was walking to the mailbox, a uh, thief stopped at 10. Stopped. Stop Stop them. Stop them. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Let's go with the vine, the number four, and the last one, of course. Four. Well, how was the beach today, Yvonne? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh. What happened? One little problem, what happened? Oh, my God. No le ha cargado del todo el audio. Sometimes that's the problem. Ya me pasado antes. Aquí en la clase. Saw the police, and he ran down the street and Aquí around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, Unfortunately he, he did. did. Four. Well, how was the beach today, Yvonne? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh, what was that? Well, after I parked the car, we got our lunch out of the trunk and carried everything down to the beach. And about an hour later, I realized that I had forgotten to lock the car. Oh, no. Was anything stolen? Well, I had taken the keys with me, but I had locked my wallet in the glove compartment like I usually do whenever I go swimming. Wow. You've learned a good lesson, haven't you? Uh-huh. Remember to lock the car. Okay, yes, remember to lock the car, always. A mí me ha pasado que ya lo he dejado sin 
Ni mejor ni pensamos en eso. Ok, let's see. <laughs> Saúl, can you please read the statement and then the answer? Saúl, maybe you have your microphone off. Now? Now? Yes, now I can me? hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. At the beach, I go. Learn uh, the answer is learning to be more careful about locking her car doors. Yes. Yes, that's the answer? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's let's check. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next one here. This is request. You want your friend to lend you her laptop for the weekend. Could I? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wait a second. No, porque si les pido que lo manden aquí al chat, nos vamos a tardar un montón. Could I? Mm -hmm. Solo quería ver si tienen que escribir completa la oración, pero no, ¿verdad? Solo es la respuesta. Just the answer. No. You just have to write the answer. Okay. So the correct answer will be. Oh, no, no. We did Could, this I... Already. Could I what? Borrow your laptop for the weekend. Borrow your. That's, yeah, that's correct. Borrow your laptop. Uh -huh. For the weekend. For the weekend. For the weekend. Like that. Okay, next one. Your classmate has a cell phone. You want to use it. Will it be okay if I? Espero que todos estén respondiendo. I use your cell phone. Use your cell phone. If I use your cell phone. Okay. You want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me a newspaper. Lending me a newspaper. Lending me. Remember always when we have that mind, then the next verb needs to be with the German, right? Lending me the newspaper or your newspaper? The newspaper? Newspaper. Your new, your, your. Lending your, me your new, your newspaper. Your. Newspaper. your, your newspaper. Or your. 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 Remember the pronunciation of the letter R in English. Your, your papers. Your. Your newspaper. Your. 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 Oops, what did happen here? Your cell phone separated? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Correct. Check the correct phrase. Could you tell Matt that Akiko can, can come to class tomorrow or does, what is the answer here? Um, let me see, Milton, 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 Milton. Milton, knock, knock. Muy Milton, cuidado. Could you tell Matt uh, that Akiko can come to class tomorrow? Ok. <ríe> Ahí como que hubo un lag. Ok. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bam, Janet. This one. Can you ask David if he wants to start now? Whatever or not he wants to study together tonight. When you, when you ask David, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> if he wants to study together. No. Because here in this case, because we have yes, one. Yes, whether, whether, uh, whether or not. Yeah, because in this case, we will have mm -hmm. to have, he wants to study. No, he wants to uh -huh, study, uh -huh. right? Yes, whether or not. Okay. Um, Darcos. Number three. Can you tell Harriet no not to be late for the for class on Monday? Okay. 
Perfect. Good job, guys. Pero no que solo se hayan aprendido la respuesta, pero. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, I'm not sure, but I remember one day I listened. Uh, don't be late. And that sentence is, is it correct? Because in this case, uh, I am sure not to be late for class on Monday is the correct answer. But don't be late, is it uh, correct to use? Yeah, because don't be late is an imperative. An imperative okay. is to give an order. So when you give an order, you say, no, don't be late. Please don't be late to class. But okay. when you use not to be late, it's a different meaning. So don't be late to class. It means like, no llegue tarde clases. But not mm -hmm. to be late, que no llegue tarde. Not to be late is, an is another meaning. So for example, okay. if I tell you, hey, can you tell your classmate not to be late? Digo, ¿puede decirle a su compañero que no llegue tarde? Si le dijera, mm -hmm. can you tell your classmate don't be late? Si puedes decirle a tu compañero no llegues tarde, es diferente. Pero yo le estoy pidiendo que me le diga que no llegue tarde. Not to be late. Okay. It's a different meaning. So both uh, sentences are correct. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's go here. At their wedding, the bride and groom... Simple past, the past continuous, or the past perfect? Uh huh. What is it? Simple past. Mm -hmm. And the simple past of get is? God. 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 The bride's father has just moved aside when the groom. Simple past. What is the simple past of step? Stepped. 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 Correct. Stepped. While I. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's read the complete sentence. So we have, uh, while I ate tennis yesterday afternoon, I realized that I had forgotten something. When I was, was playing. playing. Was playing. Was playing. So was that's was playing. past continuous, right? Yeah, it's yeah. continuous. I'm sorry, my dyslexia, de verdad, yo tengo dyslexia, guys, sorry. Okay, was playing. I couldn't call my wife to say I will be late for dinner because my cell phone in the tennis bar because I'm I have not had not had not or hadn't had had not okay had not put not put excellent good job let's go now with the last part here oh my goodness this is this is long Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read this. The first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna read it, and then I'm gonna ask you guys to help me reading. Okay, so pay attention to me first, and then you will have your opportunity or your chance. Story number one. One day, as Tadu, of known, disappeared from the garden of an elderly couple in Florida. A month later, in the mail, they received a photo of the gnome in front of Buckingham Palace in London. For five years, they received photos of their statue in many famous places around the world. They finally got the gnome back, but never found out who took it or why. Wow, that's creepy, that's interesting. Story number two. Joe was living the good life in the 90s. He was president of a software company, owned a jet, and was making a lot of money in the stock market. Espero que me estén poniendo atención, porque la pronunciation. Then his luck changed. With the stock market, he lost everything. His business, his savings, and the jet. Sorry, that, that's like Bitcoin, right? Como el Bitcoin. <laughs> Story number three. One sunny day, Manny and his family decided to go to the beach. Around noon, it started getting cloudy. Then it started thundering and raining 
hard. Manny got his family safely back to the car, but the engine wouldn't start. He used his cell phone to call 911, but the tow truck couldn't help them because the roads were floated. Floated, floated, floated. Yes, it's floated. Okay, with the story number one, it's gonna help me Adriana. With the story number two, it's gonna help me. Yeah, no, después le digo, porque si no van a estar ahí, ah, ya no me toca a mí, whatever. Okay, so Adriana, you go first. Okay, teacher, story number one. One day, a statue of a gun disappeared from the garden of an elderly couple in Florida. A month later in the mail, they received a photo of the gun in front of Buckingham Palace in London. For five years, they received photos of their statue in many famous places around the world. They finally got the gun back, but never found out who took it for or why. That's very interesting story, guys, right? And yeah. it's wait a, a second. <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery. Wait a second. That word that you were saying here, um, Adriana, actually in this case, the G is silent. So you only say uh -huh. no, no, yeah. no. Okay, thank okay, you. Teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's go now with Gabriela. Help me with story number two. Okay, story number two. Joy was living the good life in the 90s. He was president of a software company, oh. owned, owned a jet, and was making a lot of money in the stock market. Then his look changed with the stock market. He lost everything, his business, his savings, and the jet. Thank you very much. Just in this case, you say owned. Owned. Yeah, the last pronunciation of this in this, it's, it's gonna be like a D, no ED, it's owned, okay, owned. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Redoble de tambores para la última persona. Marcos, ya tuvimos two girls, vamos a tener one boy. One sunny day, many and his family decided to go to to go to the beach. Around now, it started getting cloudy. Then it started thundering and raining hard. Many got his family safely back to the car, but the engine will start. He used his cell phone to call 911. But the talk tow truck couldn't help them because the road were were flooded. Flood. Okay, repeat with me. Or, or or first, how do you say this word, Marcos? His. 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 Okay. His. His. Then this one. No. Ajá, separada si me la dice bien. Ella me dijo non. Ok, this one. Cloud. What? Cloud. Cloudy. 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 Mm -hmm. Me voy a acordar de Cloudy. Ok, yeah. Sí. <laughs> It's a good option. It's a good option. This one. Wouldn't. 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 In this case, guys, the only letter that you're not going to say is the letter L. So it's going to be like wouldn't, wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Now let's go. And this one is floated. Okay. Floated. Inundados. What will be the title for story number one, Saul? Saul, microphone. The, the number one story is the uh, story is the title is it's still a mystery. 
Thank you very much. Janet, number two. And show me the, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, what a terrible misfortune. Misfortune, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see now. Obviously, Miguel. <laughs> yes. What could be the delay for story number three? Title. 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 Ta no, repeat with me. Title. Title. Yeah. Okay, what okay. is the option here? Emergency. Emergency. Repeat with me. Em emergency. 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 Emer no, emergency. Emergency. Okay. Emergency. Okay, like that. It's perfect. Thank you. <sighs> Guys, in English, so this is something, sometimes your pronunciation is good. But in English, like in Spanish, we have something called, wait a second, <laughs> we have something called stressed, okay? In English, existe el estrés, no, not the stress that I am so tired, I work a lot, I'm stressed, no. The stressed is like the tilde in Spanish, okay? So, for example, you know that in Spanish saying papa y papa, it's different, right? Yeah. You don't call mi papa, <laughs> right? And you don't say voy a comer un papa. You say papa, you say papa. In English, there's something similar, but in English, we don't see the accent. We don't see the tilde because there is no one. In English, we only hear it. For example, with this word, let me send you the word. This word, many of my students, like the basic students say, before, before. If you, before. Hear, if you hear the pronunciation, it's correct, but the stress is not in the correct syllable. Because the correct pronunciation is at the be, end. Before. 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 It's not before, it's before. So sometimes, guys, you are saying the words correctly, but you are making the emphasis or you are putting the stress where there's not stress. Okay. So I don't know if you have heard about this topic. I have taught this topic like a couple modules ago. But if you have not heard about this, we're going to be practicing, tal vez si soy su maestra next module, we're going to be practicing about the stress. Because the stress is very important when speaking in English, okay? Because no mucha gente le pone atención a eso, but yes. Porque les digo, before, ellos dicen before, y yo before. Pues soy igual de yo no, porque así no, no soy igual de decir papá que papá. It's there, it's something small, but it's there, okay? So it's the way to get uh -huh. uh, more um, bo uh, not voice projection intonation intonation what yes it's about intonation speak yes it, when when you are speaking that's intonation okay well guys thank you very much thank you for your patience thank you for being here in the class for being here all the classes and I will see you next module if I am your teacher okay if I am not. Cuando first vemos, God, first God, yes. <laughs> Thanks, God. The, well, God's willing. And ese sería como God's willing. <laughs> God's willing. La voluntad de Dios, right? Okay. Uh, okay. okay. God's willing, guys. Thank I will see you next module. Thank module. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. It was my pleasure, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.